Um, how long has the Heritage Humane Society been open for? That is a question for Diane. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diana. I'm the operations manager. Um, uh, Heritage Humane Society has been open for about 21 years. We've been in this building for about 10. Okay. Um, animals do you have as of right now? I think the official count was 91 mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, generally, how long do the animals stay at the shelter before they're adopted or brought into a foster home situation? <laughs> it would depend on a lot of the Factors. age of the animal and the type of the animal. So puppies and kittens tend to go very quickly, as well as small dogs, because they are in high demand. Um, older dogs, older cats, um, dogs or cats with health or behavior issues, those tend to stay a bit longer. We have had some dogs, um, such as Horton, who we featured on our website a few times, who have been here for uh, about a year, maybe over a year, I believe, with Horton. Um, the longest animal that I've heard of has been here for two years. And that was a cat in our yeah. colony room. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there more cats than dogs? Usually, yes. Usually, <laughs>volunteering at the Heritage Humane Society? Um, I think this is my third year. Do you enjoy it? I do. It's very, it makes you very happy. Do you have a favorite animal? Um, I did. His name was Charles, and he was a really fat ginger cat, but then he got adopted, so that was exciting. And then, now my favorite is, um, Bodie, but he is not here, so I think he got adopted as well. Is Bodie a cat? Yes. I'm more of a cat person. So, when you come here to volunteer, do you work more with the cats or with the dogs? Um, I usually split it, so I usually come in here first and then just, like, sit around, and usually they're more active. Okay. But, yeah. Um, and I just kind of, like, go around and, like, pet them and, like, sit in these rooms and then go through the cages. And then, usually I go to the dogs after, and then just, like, sit around them. Have you ever adopted a pet from the Heritage Humane Society? Um... I guess so, because I got my two kittens from, in Malaysia, but that was like the RSPCA, so it's kind of the same thing, so yeah. Um, would you ever consider adopting an animal from the Heritage Humane Society? Yes, I would probably, if I was allowed to get an animal, then I would get one from the Heritage Humane Society. Oh, do you think it'd be a cat or a dog? I think I'd start off with a cat, and then I'd come back for a dog like a few years later. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So this right here is Lucky. He's a nice little snowy kind of husky looking color. And right here we have <laughs> Cotton. Aww. Cotton's happy really, to be asleep. Yeah, Cotton's really soft though. Oh, we have another down here. And, and right here we have Cadbury. Oh, hello like Cadbury. So, I'm sure he's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and right here we have the newest edition Elvis. Elvis is very fat. He's on a diet. Um, diet food only. And then right here we have the kittens. We have Sunday and Jeff. <laughs> Say hello, Sunday and Jeff. <laughs> right here we have uh, Gigi. Yep. <laughs> Cinder. Oh, Cinder is so pretty. <laughs> I'll just cut out the sound. No. This up here is Daisy. Hey. And under her we have May. <laughs> Daisy has kittens a few weeks ago. Daisy had kittens a few weeks ago. Daisy had kittens a few weeks ago. <laughs> Daisy had kittens a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, oh, this one looks so There's scary. There's two in this one. <gasps> so we've got Astra, who is on the bottom right oh. here. And Smudge, which is just about to win. Hey, Smudge. Does age matter when it comes to adopting cats? 
the kittens and the other cats usually go faster. However, there are several couples or nice people that come in that want to give those older cats a home. Okay. Does the breed of the cat or like the coloring affect how people adopt them? The more unique and not common cats like Callie here usually go faster just because people find them more attractive. Okay. Um, how do you choose which cats get put in the colony rooms and which don't? It's solely based on whether or not they get along with other cats. For instance, if we put a cat in here and we see a cat fight or a conflict start, we'll take her out and put her back in the kennel. Okay. Do cats that are in the colony room get adopted more quickly than cats that are stuck in the other rooms? Cats that are in here are definitely played with more and receive more attention, but there's no clear evidence of which are adopted more. Maybe I'll find some peace tonight In the arms of the angel Fly away from here From this day dogs from? So the dogs come from court cases or just abandoned strays, anything in the Williamsburg, James City County region. Okay. Uh, does the age and the breed of the dogs affect which ones are adopted more quickly? Breed? Not specifically. Age? Yes. The puppies go by so fast, whereas the older dogs are typically here longer. Okay. Do you have a lot of pit bulls here? Do you get a lot? Right now we have three, I believe. Um, and there, there's not like an abnormal amount compared to the other dogs. Okay. Um, how long are the dogs generally here for before they're adopted or fostered? That is definitely a large range. Once they're here to a certain amount, we definitely try to get them fostered out. And we move them in different habitats so that people see them in different locations so that their uh, chance of being adopted increases. But there's no specific timeline. Okay. Thank you. So what is this cage place? It's their playpen. Oh, okay. Gives them freedom to be off the leash and run around. Yeah. And we have another one inside, but this one is nice because it's outdoors. Right. That's where we show dogs, um, as well as play with them, or do dog interactions. Okay. Um, how does the adoption process work here? Um, it would depend on what type of animal you're interested in adopting. So, uh, for most cases, animals can be adopted that day if they have any medical concerns or we have to speak to landlord about landlord policies um, or the whole family has to meet or a dog meet and greet, that could delay it. Um, usually about a week is the most that that is delayed by. And uh, we go over an application with them, counsel them, give them tips and tricks on introducing their new pet to their home, and then we help them get the animal. <laughs> okay. That's what I like about you. Is, are there adoption fees and do the prices vary for the animals? There are. And typically our adoption fees are 100 for kittens, 9 months and younger, uh, 75 for cats from 10 months to 10 years, and 10 years and over are 50. And adult dogs, uh, 10 months and above are 175, and puppies, 9 months and under are 200. There can be some higher fees depending on the breed of the dog or the health problems of an animal that could have caused more medical expenses for us. Okay, thank you. Um, is fostering an option? It depends on the animal. Typically we don't do fostering. Uh, in most cases if we do foster an animal out to adopt, it's because the animal has some behavior or medical concerns that we'd like the doctor to work with. We're what is considered a low-kill shelter, so what that means is we only consider euthanasia if the animal is so sick that it's suffering, or if the animal is a danger to themselves, other animals, or people. It must have been How long have you had your dog, and what breed is it? Uh, we got him 
two months ago, I guess, and he's a, like a beagle mix, kind of. Okay. Um, does he seem like part of the family? Yeah, I mean, as much as any dog can, I think. He's just kind of like, we mostly laugh at him kind of a lot, so there's that. But, yeah, he's, he's pretty chill. Okay. Um, how did the adoption process work? Um, so we, like, my sister was working at, it was like voluntary the Humane Society, Society. And then they, like, just happened to see this dog out of, like, the corner of their eye. And so they went up and, like, and, and, you know, inquired about adopting him. And they're like, okay, but there's, like, someone else ahead of you, like, who wanted him. And it ended up that, like, they, like, their landlord or something doesn't allow pets, so they fell through, and we just happened to, to snag him right up, so. Okay. Um, do you think it was an effective process? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty simple. It was just like, hey, do you want this dog? I was like, okay. Right, so you liked it? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, if you had the choice, would you adopt again or buy, a, like, purebred? Um... You know, I, I've never, so this is like the first dog we've ever really had, so the comparison is probably pretty, you know, I don't really have a comparison, anything to compare it to, but I mean, I assume adoption is slightly cheaper, so, yeah. you know, he's a fun, you know, he's good enough, right? Like, yeah, it's, you know, it's probably, it's probably fine. Some peace tonight.